The weather turned hot, and I took to stopping at the Oasis Saloon for a beer along about mid-afternoon. Boogles, the owner, was a disagreeable old skinflint, but he cut ice every winter from a nearby slough and kept it packed in sawdust for the summer trade, so the beer was always cold. I was standing at the long bar one day nursing my brew and trying to get a rise out of Boogles when Stub Peterson, wagon boss for the M. Cross, ambled in and set his elbows on the hardwood. Give me a beer, he told Boogles, and bring Merlin here another one. Much obliged, Stub, I said. How have you been? Too damn hot. Other than that, I can't complain. Boogles drawed a pair of cold ones and set them before us. Stubb drank half of his and licked the foam off his mustache. Thane took the notion to put up hay this summer out to the ranch, he said. Hayin' is thirsty work. I nodded. How is Thane, I asked. And Julie? Thane? Same as ever, I guess. Julie, too, far as I know. She still at the ranch, then? Hell yes, she's still at the ranch. Where else would she be? I took a sip of my beer and tried to look casual. Nowheres, I guess. I just thought maybe she'd gone back to school or something. Let me give you a little free advice, Merlin. Try not to think about Julie so much. Young bucks thinking about Julie tend to make Thane nervous. I finished my beer and set the stein back on the bar. I figure free advice is just about worth the price, I told him. I bought him a beer, we talked cattle prices and the weather for a while, and I headed on back to the livery barn. Thinking about Julie tended to make me nervous, too, in a pleasant kind of way. I continued to see Glenn a couple of times a week, but he never mentioned Billy Christmas again, and I didn't bring the subject up either. I guess we both figured there was nothing more to say, and we had the good sense not to keep a saying it. Glenn had a new problem on his mind anyway. The Coldwater Gang is operating in our area again, he said. They robbed the Merchant's Bank in Silver City last week. Shot the teller. The Coldwater Gang, says I. I thought they'd left this country. I heard they'd gone down to Oklahoma or somewheres. I heard that too, said Glenn. Wherever they went, they're back now. Witnesses at Silver City saw Vince and Cletus Coldwater, plain as day. Vince's common-law wife, Ramona, was with them too. That is bad news, I said. But Silver City is twenty miles away, and in another county. There's no call for you to be concerned just yet. Glenn fixed me with a cold stare and raised one eyebrow higher than the other. The Coldwater Gang is cause for concern wherever it is, he said. <laughs>